Dating. That's where we, that's where we are, right? Dating is a very interesting thing after having been married. You compare. I'd, I'd lie if I said I didn't compare. And not necessarily physical comparisons. You compare the treatment. You compare the lifestyle. You compare The lifestyle is kind of a dumb comparison. You know, I try not to do that one often. But um, how do you ladies manage that, you know, where men have a point of reference? You know, this whole Googleable thing, right? And how, how Googleable you are can play a huge role in meeting people and dating people and preconceived notions or... How has your experience been with that? It's whack for me. I'd just like to say that people will go, they'll meet me, and then they'll have something in their mind like, she's cool, she's so fun, da da da. Then they'll Google, and things be like, you feel the wheels turning backwards on the tricycle? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the reverse uh, red rum, red rum. No, no, red not red rum. Remember, <laughs> 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 he was going down that hole. <laughs> They'd be backwards. Red rum. She's got a, she's the vulture. So, Wasn't that The Shining? Yes, The Shining. <laughs> so, you, so you're saying they, they, they judge you based on what they... Oh, man. Their perception. Based on reading, like, whatever they Google, or oh. if they can find an old article or mm-hmm. anything, or find out who my ex is. They just, they mm-hmm. back up for three reasons. One, they're intimidated by him. Mm-hmm. So they feel like, I, I, I don't know how to moonwalk. I'm like, who told you? Oh, I never saw him. <laughs> That's the first I've been in the gym and somebody said, I was looking at him like, can I ask you to help me with this weight? I was like, I don't moonwalk now. I make some good old chili. I didn't ask you none of what you do. Mm. All right, so there's that. Then the second thing is they think, oh, rich. Mm, so right. monetarily mm-hmm. they can't. And guess what? I'm not even looking. I don't. Mm-hmm. If I cared about it, I'd still probably be mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so that's not, I mean, you can't be now. Right, right. You know, but you know, but. You got to be able to hold your own. To hold your own, but I'm not looking for a Rolls Royce. Right. In your life. I don't care. I don't have one. So why would I be looking? I don't care. Right. You know what I mean? And then, um, so it's just that. And then just the, just the rumor mill, the drama. So then right. they think automatically, like, ooh, you're going to come with all that. I'd be mm-hmm. like, if mm-hmm. you think that was me, then. You know what I'm saying? Right. So People just, people, I think, have to give people a chance to get to know them mm-hmm. on their own and not go by what they've read and what they heard and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So mine is hard with having any kind of a public persona. I have only had success in relationships that I met through other people in my entire life. Really? Well, introduce yeah, me true. to some damn body, because, honey, this, I don't know. Has anybody ever tried online dating? Mm-mm. I did years ago. No, I have crazy stories. So I, in... Like mid two thousands, decided I was gonna I was gonna join E Harmony because it felt Damn, like that's old school, right? Because right. <laughs> I was like, okay, this feels like it's science she based. Think it was e is Erica, she's like, oh, right, exactly. Oh, right. <laughs> no, it felt like it was science. It felt like okay, they're gonna really you know do some behavioral stuff and match me with some people. Come, like once I did my profile, they were only matching me with IT guys and I'm stockbrokers. So t- I talked to you about IT. What was that about? They're just plugging up shit. That- if they don't work in tech and they ain't came up with the app and the program and the algorithm and the freaking AI and they didn't come up with the whole coding situation, that IT, I have never messed with me IT guys in my life. I'm like, are y'all all it? Right, exactly. <laughs> I interview it. And I didn't know, but I was like, what is in my personality that's drawing the IT and the stockbroker guys? Because that's like polar opposite, right? Like IT guys. Are they so you meet stockbroker guys? That, that was who was coming up for my profile. Nice, I didn't, nice. you know, I didn't necessarily meet a ton of them. This was years ago. But the, the dates were incredibly awkward. You know, we had conversations and then we would meet for coffee. I had one guy, I met him at a Starbucks, I, you know, trying to keep it really mm-hmm. basic. He comes right out. I don't own anything. I live with my brother. I'm just letting you know, like, I can't afford it. And I'm like, honey, I don't even know you. <laughs> we were just having some coffee. But don't now email is, me. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave this where it is, though. It was nice <laughs> meeting you. Another guy, I said uh, we can meet at, uh, I was had a meeting, and I ended up meeting at Philippe in New York, and he stood me up. I sat there, I had two martinis, and was mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and so I texted him, like, hey, are you coming? He starts cursing me out on the text. I don't know who the F you think you are to think I'm going to come meet okay. you for a $20 cocktail. I said, oh, my, this is a different experience. I'm not, I don't yeah, want to no, do this rough. anymore. What I like about apps, I'm on an app. And I like the fact that I can vet the people before even meeting them. So you kind of talk to them. 
So, like, just through the little conversation, and, and they'll say, like, you know, where do you live? Can you meet me at the Waffle House in Latonia? Probably not. No offense, Latonia. I'm just saying. <coughs> I'm just saying, I'm like, if you know where I live, you should at least find, like, a middle ground. And the fact that you're naming Waffle House. Yeah. No. The fact that he what? I love Waffle House. Okay. But I don't want my first date to be there. Yeah. Oh. And there are a lot of places we can meet besides the Waffle House. The first date? But you like Waffle House. I so. love. He, he know. So yeah. what would that... But Okay, so... Oh, God. Here, here I go. Looking yeah. like the practical... I love a guy that takes me to Waffle House. So... And that does like you. Because... <laughs> I kind of get where men, I'm just playing devil's advocate right now. I kind of get at this point where men feel like women can be materialistic. We have these standards in place. But I kind of think once we reach a certain age, some things we don't even, we shouldn't even really worry about. Like to me, if someone introduced me, because now y'all talking about, y'all talking about online dating. Mm -hmm. But if someone introduced me, and they know me, at least they better know me. Mm-hmm. And he says, let's go to the Waffle House. I would ask, okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm not judging, but I'm judging. Because why are we going to, you know, like, you know this what I'm saying? What I would I'm have trying a, to say. But, 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 but I'm saying, I don't see why at this age we are afraid to have conversation and ask questions. I would ask, okay, I get it. Because you know my level. And I know yours, but why are we going to the Waffle House? Is it because you're trying to test? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that is, but I would ask that question. Okay, my, I don't mind Waffle House. So you're House. saying instead of making a snap Pre- judgment exactly. about the selection, exactly. you want to understand yeah, why Yeah, why are we going? Selection. Is it because it's comfortable? Like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's yes. Versus going to a five-star restaurant if I know he's capable of doing that. Or just the Starbucks. Or just the Starbucks. Right. Right, because there's, there's that. Or if you tell all me to drive or 30, Joe in the juice. Excuse me. Are you offering a gas card? You telling me to drive 45 minutes outside of my area? To Lithonia. To Lithonia. Lithonia. She want me to go all the way to uh, Lithonia for the Waffle House. It wasn't like there was some, you know, coffee uh, house that he loved and okay. he wanted to introduce her to some specific coffee bean that yeah. they have in Lithonia. That might be worth it. But I just no. feel like there's just a ton of other things we could do mm-hmm. besides Waffle House. Yeah. No, I will not... <laughs> date anyone who is in the space of trying to get there. Man. I can't. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't. I've been there, done it. I've helped leveled men up. Help, da 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 But at this age, I it can't be a hope and a possibility. You need to already be there. I'm 55. You should be about ready to retire. That part. I can't. Or, if you're about to retire, because I've met a couple of those kind of people, have it together. Because you're not going to have us at the damn Piccadilly line every week trying to get our breakfast and stuff. Yeah, I mean, and I I, I, I just, I I think, and and here's what we have to get out of, just generalizing and and, and putting these standards and rules in place Mm. for everybody. Because one way does not work for everybody. 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 That's true. So you could be a woman who's very well established, got lots of money, straight up, and she will be okay with taking care of a man. She may be, because I know some women that are okay with that. But then you may have someone who been there, done it. She's cool. She's, you know, self-sufficient. Okay. But she needs for that man to be there, too. But I, I have a couple of theories on that, though. Mm-hmm. So I know an older woman, wealthy, wealthy, and her boyfriend, her partner, is, like, 20 years younger. Right. She's, she's obviously the breadwinner, because she's very wealthy and established. Being a sugar mama, like, I don't know. No, but that's <laughs> like, my point. That if my I point. really got it and he's young and he's really making me happy, mm-hmm. you know, if he's making me like super happy and he puts a smile on my face, he likes to travel, and he's also keeping my brain going. Because I, I believe that young people, you know, keep us on it, mm-hmm. keep us on our toes. My kids keep me on my toes, they keep me, my, that was whack. Why would you do that? Da, 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 da. Change yeah, this. Yeah. There, there, there. this. You got yeah. a little her Farrah Fawcett to her. Yeah, right. Don't be messing with my Farrah Foster. No, it, it was, it was <laughs> okay. It, she was out there. She was out there. Okay. okay, go ahead. No, so I don't know that at a certain age, kind of like how Madonna dates younger. Mm-hmm. I, I can never share, share, share. Chris Jenner. Yeah, people date younger. 
I don't know if I'd have a problem with it. And now, there, but there has to be levels. It can't be that's like no. That's levels. what I'm it saying. It can't be thirty know. years younger. That's way too. No, but like For I me. said, there's no one way to to it all. So mm-hmm. some some woman in her fifties would be okay with the bus driver. Okay. Or any woman that's 30, 40 would be okay with, with the bus driver. Absolutely. But then you I'm do mad have the bus some, driver. No, yes. right. But I but okay. I got the I got her point when she says he I'm a, he better own the dang on fleet so, fleet fleet of buses or be the whatever the owner. I I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That, that, he, if that's he, what she wants, then it's okay with that. But don't ostracize her or don't demean her because that was her choice. One way does not fit they all. Were so well, they were so mean. They were so mean to her. I, have, I happen to know Ebony. I know her personally. No. We're mm. not dear friends. We're, mm-hmm. we're close colleagues. We have we have people in common that we both hold dear to mm-hmm. us, right? And I know this woman. She is incredibly intelligent. She is incredibly objective, incredibly relatable. Mm-hmm. Accomplished. Right? And incredibly accomplished. And I have this thing about a couple of things around equally yoked, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And what it means to be equally yoked, truly, right? Spiritually, financially, emotionally. There's a level of compatibility that needs to be there for anything to work. So from that standpoint, you you can't expect a woman that has accomplished what you've accomplished and has experienced what you've experienced to operate the way a woman that Mm -hmm. might be 10 years, 15 years, 20 years younger than you would operate, right? And Mm -hmm. so your expectation around your man is going to mirror that. That's number one. But number two, to your point, nobody, not even a Jan La (laughs) Van Zant, and I'm saying it to the camera, a Jan La Van Zant who decides that she's going to be for all black people and the upliftment of us gets to ostracize, attack, or, or, oh, damn. or, damn. or, or demean someone's approach to how they believe they want to live their lives. And I'm looking at these cameras intently because I think it is absurd that black women don't get to have a voice about what they want and how they are going to operate in their lives and what's going to make them happy. That woman didn't say anything about that man being a bus driver. She said that if she wanted to date him, he would need to own the bus. And that's her preference. And that's, that's her, her preference. preference. Yeah, just, I mean, she may not like broccoli. So that's why it. Are you why are you why trying, you maybe she wants Brussels like, sprouts. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it. That's it. That's all that was. And 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 her absence of interest in a bus driver does not demean the bus driver. Exactly. Maybe that's... she likes Asian mm-hmm. men. Maybe mm-hmm. she likes light skinned black men. Oh, Maybe she likes dark skinned black men. Maybe she likes tall men, short men. On that. That's yep. her business. Mm-hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah. They they were really mean to her. They it. were so mean to that woman, and they made her opinion mean something for the entire mm-hmm. race. Right. That's, yeah. that's too much responsibility, and mm-hmm. we got to stop attacking black women for having a voice to what we were talking that's about right, earlier exactly. and having an opinion. That's right. Mm-hmm. And y'all could come and get me. Thanks. Because I don't care. Come for me. That's I have, because y'all want to know my real you. personality? Like, that's my opinion, yeah. and I have the right to it. I'm not knocking anyone, and neither is she. I agree with you. And don't come for my friend. I, I agree with you. Don't that's add right. me. Don't, right. don't add me. Don't add me. No, I Don't agree. come for me unless I send you guys. We got to use all our, all our, uh, <laughs> our, our slang. Wait, what, how they do it? Period. Period, poo. Period, poo. Leave that lady alone. <laughs> oh, God, I love talking to anyway, you ladies. Yes, yes, I hate to yes. be generalized. That's not don't cool. generalize. Don't generalize. Because like I said, one size does not fit. We now are not a monolith. Force my size nine. Mm-hmm. Use my words. Seven. We're not a monolith. No, yes. we're not a monolith. Okay, we're That's wrapping true. up. All okay, right. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We love these conversations and we love to have them with you, with us. And we're going to give you an opportunity to let us know what else you want us to talk about because we want to weigh in on it. Yes. Yes. For Thank sure. you for tuning in to the Here I Stand podcast.